we have with us Colonel B V Kumar, uh, Executive Vice President Jackson Engineers Limited. He is the one who has installed the solar solar panels inside the train. Let us understand the technology behind it. Could you explain us uh, what are these solar panels about? How, how will it help uh, See, run the uh, train? India has come in a very big way in the solar field. The solar technology works basically with the solar modules which is placed in a way that it is exposed to maximum radiation. With the uh, radiation falling in the solar modules, that radiation gets converted to electrical energy. Now in this system, what we do is we harness this electrical energies and through a charge controller, this electrical energy, that is the DC energy, it is split into two parts. Majority of it goes to lighting the fans and the lights and the coach. Some portion of it is go, uh, goes for charging the battery. Okay, so that's, that's how this whole system has been devised. As you can see, this system automatically logs what is the amount of radiation that is uh, uh, incident on the modules. Apart from that, it also logs what is the current uh, and what is the voltage that has been there. It's a, we have a history of the current and the voltages. And there are adequate uh, systems inbuilt to take care that in case the radiation is not there, in case we have a cloudy day for continuously three or four days, then we need not, obviously the battery is not going to be charged at that time. So the passengers need not suffer without any light and fan and we have an alternate fallback to the engine where the power will be drawn, harnessed from the engine. So this way we have given sufficient redundancies and we have ensured that the comfort of the passengers is done in the most economical way. Now if you talk of economy, the, the most important thing that I would like to bring out is we are making an annual saving of about 2 lakhs per coach. So that's that's a kind of uh, and it's a good buyback and this modules last for 25 years. So you have something to close to 50 lakhs in the in the period for the whole uh, lifespan of these uh, modules. They are very low maintenance modules. The maintenance aspects or the expenditure that uh, the railways have to uh, incur for maintenance is very minimal. So that way we are, we are first in the world and I'm very happy to say that Jackson has participated in this initiative taken by the railways and, and we hope to part participate more. Uh, how much electricity uh, is the solar panel uh, generating every day? See, solar panels generate as per the modules and the radi uh, radiation incident on, incident on it. Okay, so uh, we have a 310 kilowatt, uh, 310 watt peak. Uh, radiation uh, capacity, uh, solar module capacity is there per module. So depends on what is the incident uh, radiation. You will have the, uh, you cannot fix and say that this is going to be the electricity produced, but it will be adequate to run the whole light learning system. Can we have uh, such more uh, solar panels installed in other trains as well? Uh, will it be viable in the future? Definitely it will be highly viable and in fact, uh, a newer technology is coming up wherein you don't have to, uh, the weight of the solar modules which is pretty high now, 20 kgs will be brought down to as much as 4 kgs because they are uh, uh, they are almost like printed on a sheet, printed on a plastic sheet and uh, even these uh, batteries which are lead acid batteries will get converted to lithium ion batteries which again shrinks the size, efficiency increases and obviously you can use more facilities with this. Most important thing it is as a green world now. We are all transcending towards a green world. So we are making enormous amount of CO2 reduction, almost like nine tons per annum. So that's that's apart from uh, cost saving, we are also environmental friendly. So this is an initiative by railways to get it environmental friendly, and Jackson participates in that. Thank you for talking to Blue. Thank you.